Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general your general love reading for uh, June. Going to take a look and see who's shown up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, and vice versa as well, guys. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading. Click on that. And that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Good. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around it sometimes. You know, sometimes there could be just messages for a while that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality excuse me let's just finish saying these cards you might see extra cards as well guys if i needed to um clarify should be there lovely so let me just take these then and i'll be So Scorpio, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, feel free to check out your other uh, readings for the month, which should be pinned in the corner. All right. So the message we have here, Scorpio, is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And just kind of looking where you from where you guys are, are coming from you're not wanting to or you wasn't this is the past you you didn't want to acknowledge something it's like i don't want to acknowledge that i just want to move ahead towards what makes me feel happy what makes me feel good ultimately with that eight of cups there and eight of cups talks about walking away from something towards that ninth cup the ninth cup represents emotional happiness i feel like what you're not wanting to acknowledge is some form of effort that you've made now that effort let me see if i can show you guys this that effort could be within this connection with this person or that effort could be within your own mind within your own internal world there's a level of effort that you're wanting to or have been making it's not materialized much into anything but it's still effort nevertheless there's still this level of drive and determination that you do have uh with the king of wands there but like it's doubt but the five of wands there that coming in for you or that comes in for you and you're trying to combat that off or trying to just ignore that or um, not be so, yeah, ignore that. That's what you're not wanting to acknowledge because there is this pull that you do have towards this person. There is this injust that you feel. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but there's a sense of injust. Uh, you're wanting justice. You're very much pulled and drawn towards this person. Where will your person we do have that three of, of swords, which talks about some form of heart, which with the eighth, they're wanting to leave behind and, and, and move out of ultimately. Not to say that they don't have or acknowledge that there's an emotional connection there. This could be something that has been long term or someone that you've known for a while with the six of cups there. Definitely acknowledgement there, but there's been some pain around that, hence why they're wanting to move out of those uh, types of thoughts they're wanting to move towards that nine cup which is like yourself this emotional happiness space they're not wanting to acknowledge their feelings anymore with the two of swords over that night yeah they're wanting to with the seven specifically wanting to just kind of you know fight off any it's like trying to control their emotions wanting to kind of ignore their emotions and their feelings of what they have uh, slow it down in a sense this person is focused on coming out of this um, space when it comes to you which brings us to where we are at the moment for you there's this focus on moving away from what's not working the challenges the cracks 
whatever that represents for you towards that sun. So it's focusing on moving forward. And that's pretty much mirroring how you're thinking. It's this focus on moving forward slowly, but surely with the Knight of uh, Cups there. Slowly, but surely wanting to give to this wanting to give to this but there is this level of strength uh, that you're needing to pull on which is quite interesting and it's reflecting of i guess the, the message the message of the reading which is express your love go ahead and, and make the romantic gesture uh, gestures <laughs> go ahead and make the romantic gesture there we go seems like there's some effort around needing to do that with the strength card there yeah effort around needing to do that yeah. with this um with the four of cups in this specific deck i always tend to see this card as you know you've drunk the kool-aid you kind of you know there's no turning back in terms of just your emotional space when it comes to something so it definitely seems like you've drunk the kool-aid definitely wanting to come uh move forward like i said we've got the six of wands again we've got the six of wands twice wands swords twice three times in fact so all this, this focus on moving forward, because there is this realization, this epiphany that you're having, that you're having, which is a good thing. I feel like coupled with the strength, it's kind of giving you this <laughs> energy that you didn't have before. Maybe this perspective as well that you didn't have before. I feel like you're moving towards expressing how you feel about this person where before it just wasn't on the on the table. It wasn't on the cards. It wasn't, yeah, there was none of that. There was none of that. And with your person, I feel like per your person is focusing on work or focusing on something they've put work into, which they're now kind of enjoying the benefits of with the king of coins. Saying that though, there's still this immature way of thinking around this for them, which they're acknowledging because we do have that king of swords, but they do have this reckless immature. I like to see or I tend to see the King of uh, the Knight of Swords as a, a very young, immature type of card. Um, coupled with that King of Swords, though, they're wanting to think more logical about this. It's like I acknowledge that I'm a bit immature around how I think or see this situation, and I wanted to, you know, think a bit more uh, logical, more mature, more more controlled in my thinking, if that makes sense. What's interesting is the decision that they've made around yeah quite interesting a decision was made decision yeah a decision was made coupled with that king of pentacles this person is loved there definitely there's emotions there but they're not wanting to feel feel that they wanted to overcome that um definitely someone you're someone to them that they made a decision on that you could bring about what it is that they wanted the king of cups Sorry, the King of Pentacles, like I said, talks about, you know, your harvest coming in, things turning out, you haven't put in the work and now you're reaping the rewards of, of your hard work. This person, there's a theme around this person of not wanting to feel what they're feeling, wanting to overcome what they're feeling. Where with you, it's like you're moving towards this person. But there's a level of strength that you need in order for you to make that happen. What happened? express your love or express your feelings or express how you actually um or what you're thinking when it comes to this person to this person not sure why that hadn't happened before i'm not sure of the challenges that came um prior to this but right now you're focused on moving forward towards that where with your person they feel like there's been some maybe communication they feel like there's been much communication um because I feel like maybe some time has passed because your person seems to be wanting to move out of these feelings that they acknowledge that they have when it comes to you. So there was something around you not being honest about how you feel. Uh, maybe they as well not being honest about how they feel. But there's definitely been a lack of expressing how you both feel regarding each other. But that's changed. And, there's, and the message is in support of that, Scorpio. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. <laughs> um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.